up, YouTube? What's up, NFL fans? It's Billy B. We are back. The NFL season is here. The 2012 reigning Geo Knows Prognosticator of the Year is back, and we are ready to give you winners again this year. So I'm going to do things a little different this year. I'm going to go um, my picks by dimes. Uh, one dime equals $100, two dimes, 200 and so forth, just to track how I like the games, and um, we're still going to do locks of the week. So uh, we'll get right into it. My first pick, I like the Jets to win outright over the Buccaneers. Everybody's on the Buccaneers bandwagon. They got Darrell Revis over there. They think they're going to just run all over the Jets in this game. I see the Jets playing a sound defensive game. And they're going to keep the score low, and they're going to win around between like probably like 17 and 13 final. But I like the Jets to win this outright. I have one dime on that game, and that will give you um, betting 100 will give you 162 dollars if you win. So it's a good bet right there. Uh, my second game I like is the Kansas City Chiefs minus three and a half against the Jaguars. The Jaguars are not a very good team. The Chiefs aren't a very good team either, but they have some new uh, weapons. They got Alex Smith. I think that's going to make Dwayne Bow better. Jamal Charles when healthy is a very good back and they have defensive playmakers all over the field they have you know Derek Johnson Tom Holly Eric Berry and their corners aren't very uh, aren't very bad so I have two dimes on that game so that's $200 um, my third game I like the, the Houston Texans minus three and a half against the San Diego Chargers Houston Texans very well might be the best team in the AFC um, Chargers don't really have any playmakers anywhere uh, I just don't see how they can keep up with the Texans. Um, Aaron Foster probably won't get a huge workload, but Ben Tate's more than capable of carrying the load. Um, they have, you know, J.J. Watt, the Defensive Player of the Year. They're getting Cushing back. So I think they're going to win this game very fairly easily. And my lock of the week, or I'm sorry, I have three dimes on the Texans game. So that's $300. My lock of the week will be the Colts, Indianapolis Colts versus the Raiders. The Colts are minus 9.5. I think the Colts are going to take a, uh, step backwards this year, but in this game, I don't see them having any struggles with the uh, Raiders. They have no playmakers. Terrell Plyer scares nobody. Darren McFadden is probably their best weapon, but um, they'll be able to shut him down. The Colts, uh, I don't see anybody being able to stop Reggie Way and T.Y. Hilton on the uh, Raiders. So I like the Colts minus nine and a half to win, and that is four dimes. So that's my lock of the week. And um, we'll give it over to Sean P., and he'll give you his picks. What's up, guys? Sean P. back here for the third year in a row. Team Takeum is going to be bringing you guys the best picks anywhere on the Internet. So make sure to check out the website. We have a website now. It's teamtakeum.com. It will be right here the whole time. Feel free to go check it out. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of cool things over there on the website. Billy B. is going to have some parlays, some teasers, things like that, some special some special picks Excuse me, that will only be released on the website I will also have special picks just for the website, including my $1,000 challenge where I try to see how much profit or loss I can turn <laughs> in one season with just $1,000. All right, so let's get right into the picks this week. Week one, finally here, football is back. So my first pick is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs minus 4.5 to take down the Jacksonville Jaguars. Andy Reid, uh, Alex Smith, Donnie Avery, whole new set of cast over there. They've got a good defense. I like Kansas City in this game. Take them. Second pick, uh, the Arizona Cardinals are actually plus 4.5 against the St. Louis Rams. I like Arizona to win this game outright. Carson Palmer, Larry Fitzgerald, Rashard Mendenhall, that offense is going to have a good year this year. So let's look for the Cardinals to actually win this game outright. If you don't like that, you can always take them plus 4.5. Take them. Uh, the third game I'm going to look at here is the San Francisco 49ers who are playing the Green Bay Packers. Now, Green Bay is actually plus five here. That's right. You're getting Green Bay plus five. I can't resist that. Aaron Rodgers and the uh, Packers offense is really good. If San Fran wins this game, it might be like a three-point game. They might win it by three, win it by two. Some are pretty tight. I like the Packers here plus five. They may even win it outright, but let's take them uh, plus five to be on the safe side. Take them. All right, and the final game I'm going to give you guys today is the lock of the week. Denver is minus seven as of this current video, which is five o'clock on a Thursday night. We're two hours or three hours away from game time. Denver is minus seven versus Baltimore, the defending Super Bowl champions. Baltimore's lost a lot of their leadership. They have a lot of new parts. I expect Denver to be one of the best teams in the NFL. I think Denver's going to easily dispose of, De of um, Baltimore tonight, and I love Denver minus seven. The line started out as uh, 9.5, I think they were minus originally. 
So let's go with Denver minus seven for the lock of the week. Again, make sure to check out the website, www.teamtakeem.com. Make sure to check out the Twitter, which is twitter.com backslash teamtakeem. Uh, make sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, leave some comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Look, looking forward to a great week, guys. Uh, looking forward to a great year. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.